Are we alone in the universe, Chris Mason? What do you think? So you, the presumption that you've just mentioned is let's just focus on our thing. Yeah, yeah, for now. <laughs> for now. Well, I, I think we, as far as we know, there's no other sentient life out in the universe that we've found yet. And and I, I think there's probably bacteria life out there uh, just because we found it everywhere we've looked on earth. It is, and there's you know halophilic organisms that can survive in extreme salts. There are uh, psychrophiles that in extreme cold. There's, you know, basically organisms that can survive in really almost any possible environment. You can, they can adapt and find a way to live. But as far as we know, we're the only sentient ones. And I think th this is the famous, the Drake equation, or, you know, how many, or, um, where is everyone is the, what Enrico Fermi said is the, why haven't we heard from anyone if there are these other life forms? I actually think the question is wrong to phrase it that way because the unit, the Earth has only been here for 4.5 billion years, and we, and you know, life maybe only for a few billion of those years. Complex life only for several hundred years, hundred million years of life we've actually had. You know, and, and humans only in the past few million years since our last common ancestor. So it's not that much time. But if you think even further back, the universe hasn't had that much time itself to cool and create atoms and have them spread around the the, the universe, right? So the current estimate's 13.8 billion years of just the whole universe, but it spent the first five or six of those billion years really just like cooling and making enough of the uh, you know, stars to then make the atoms that would come from supernovas. So I actually think we might be the first or sit one of the very few or one of the early life forms, but the universe itself hasn't had that much time to make life in a, in a, gal in a galactic and universal time frame. You needed billions of years for the elements to be created and then distributed. And we're only really in the, like, I think the last few billion years where I think even life could have been made. So I think the question of wherever is everyone is the wrong question. I think the question is, I think we are the first ones at the party let's set up the liquor, let's set up the food. We, I just think we're the first ones at the party of life, but, but more people are coming. One of the early attendees to the party. Yeah, maybe the first, as far as we know, the first, but maybe we'll In find the someone. local pocket of yeah. the, the universe. Yeah. Because um, the parties then expand and you, it overflows. And, yeah, that right, right. Think, and then there's a mosh pit and then, you know, you bump into the other galaxy. Uh, I, I think it's, I think the question should be, uh, you know, when else is everyone getting here instead of where is everyone? I think I think we've just started on the genesis of life in the universe. Yeah, so not not worry have they or not more about when and who it's and how do we set up the party? Right, and then how do we them? help them? I think it's an interesting other moral question is do we, you know, the a lot of Star Trek episodes, you, uh, the prime directive is you do not interfere with another planet if you could pass by a planet. I think it's time to also revisit that because what if, what if you go by a planet and we think that with, as far as we can tell with enough certainty that they would never be able to leave their planet. And then the sun eventually would engulf that planet, wherever that planet might be in some solar system. But if we had a way to help them, their culture, their science, their technology, everything about a different species to survive, would we not interfere? interfere? I think that would actually be wrong to say, well, we can save this, this life here and we decide not to, we decide, after mil millions and billions of years pass, and we know the sun will engulf that planet, like what will happen with our planet? And we don't interfere. That's you know watching a train hit someone on the tracks and not moving the train.